Hello, this is Yanis Varoufakis with a message on behalf of DiEM25. On Thursday, the trial of Israel for genocide brought by the South African government, kudos to them, began at long last. A government of a people who know deeply in their bones what apartheid means, what genocide means, is unmasking Olaf Scholz, Emmanuel Macron, Ursula von der Leyen, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, a whole gamut of European leaders who are standing idly by, along with the Eurogroups of the Socialists and Democrats, even the European Party of the Left, who are turning a blind eye at the genocide being perpetrated as we speak in Gaza, in the West Bank, in East Jerusalem. Watch her speech at The Hague on behalf of the South African government, of the brilliant Irish lawyer who, staring in the eye the array of international judges, delivered the indictment of genocide that bears no doubt whatsoever. Who will forget Netanyahu addressing Israeli soldiers, invoking the Old Testament, specifically the story of the Amaleks, in which God supposedly commands Saul to exterminate everyone, including the last child. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, who talked about human animals. The Israeli President Isaac Herzog, who dares say that the whole of the Palestinian nation are guilty. Government MPs, mayors and deputy mayors, advisors to the government, ambassadors, they're all demanding that not a sip of water, not a loaf of bread, not one bandage reaches the Palestinians who are thirsty, hungry and bleeding. North Gaza has become as uninhabitable today as Hiroshima was after the dropping of the atom bomb. The genocide continues. And we? What about us? Beyond the demonstrations, we have a moral duty. We have an obligation. Until the genocide ends and the rights of the Palestinian people are recognized to work hard so that sanctions are imposed upon Israel, so that our governments and the European Union tear up every military or commercial deal treaty with Israel, so that Israel is expelled from the United Nations, that it treats with such contempt, that it is expelled from every international body, that no athletic or sports event includes Israeli representatives, just as we had done against the South African apartheid regime. It is our duty, not only towards the Palestinians who are suffering genocide, but to progressive Israelis who understand that what their government is doing now is detrimental to the interests of Israelis and Jews worldwide. Why should we do this? Because if we don't, we will be judged by history to have been complicit. Because if we don't stand up for Palestinians today, who is going to stand up for us tomorrow? For our children, 